Hello everyone, today we are going to discuss the multi-stage graph which is an application of the dynamic programming. So basically what is the dynamic programming? Dynamic programming is the one in which when we reach a certain stage we take a decision and on the basis of that decision we move further. That is it is a, the solution is a sequence of decisions. So what basically a multi-stage graph is, it is a directed graph, okay, graph G with v comma e where the vertices are partitioned into k sets k disjoint sets that is they do not have the same vertices at least two the vertices will be, will be partitioned into at least two sets at least two or more at least two means two or more sets uh, the and the sets will be v i and v i plus one okay and suppose uh, I have an edge u comma v which belongs to which belongs to the edge set E then u will be in v1 and v will be in v i plus 1 that is in the next stage. So basically what a multi-stage graph looks like is this thing okay so here I have k is equal to 5 so 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 5 I have five stages okay and this is my source vertex that is the in degree 0 and this is my sink vertex also known as represented by T with uh, with out degree as 0 and uh, here it is represented by S this is the source vertex okay so two things that we have to keep in mind while solving uh, for solving this is let's start solving the question what we have to do we have to we have to reach from source vertex to sink vertex using the minimum cost path okay so two things that I need to know is v of 1 is equal to v of 5 is equal to 1 okay and the cost of i comma j cost of i comma j is equal to minimum of cost of j comma l plus this is the c this is the cost cost of i plus 1 comma l okay so and uh, what is i i is the stage that i am on and j is what j is the vertex j are the vertices vertex on that stage and what is l l belongs to the next stage l is what l is that if i'm standing at j what is my out degree of j that is if i'm standing at 8 the values of l will be 10 and 11 if i'm standing at if i'm standing at 2 the values of i will be what 2 value of j will be state 2 okay and i mean node 2 and uh, and the value of l will be out degree of 2 that is 6 7 and 8 we have to find the minimum out of these okay so now let's start solving this so uh, the first thing that you need to know is uh, there are two ways i can do this one is the forward approach and the other is the backward approach okay so in the forward approach i start from sink i will forward means going in this direction but no in this direction in this uh, graph we go opposite in forward approach we go from sink to source and in backward approach we go from source to sink sink is represented by t okay so in the so now first we will solve with the help of the forward approach so in the forward approach first thing it we had to find was c of c of what c of i comma j i is the stage and j is the vertex so c of i is the stage that is 5 fifth stage and vertex on it is only 12 you one thing that you have to notice see or you have to learn is that or you have to understand is that the c of 5 comma 12 or the c of the 
sink is always zero okay in the case of forward and in the case of uh, backward okay the backward we will discuss later on so one thing you have to remember is that the c of your sink vertex will always be equal to zero okay so after that we will start with the previous one i have to calculate i have to calculate for c i comma j where i is the number of stage and j is the vertices on that state stage so the the stage is 4 and the vertices on stage 4 is 9 10 11 so i have to find out c 4 comma 9 c 4 comma 10 and c 4 comma 11 now how will i find this i have to say i have this was minimum of c j comma l j is 9 and l right now i don't know suppose plus cost of i plus 1 i plus 1 is 5 comma l okay so what is l now you can put the curly this bracket here hardly matters what is l now l is the out degree of the vertex 9 so out degree of vertex 9 is only 12 9 is ascending an edge only to 12 so that is l will only be equal to 12 that is cost of 9 comma 12 is 9 comma 12 is 4 so 4 plus 5 comma 12 is 5 comma 12 we had calculated in the previous step was 0 that is it comes out to be 4 similarly i will calculate for 4 comma 10 it will come out to be 2 and for uh, 4 comma 11 it will come out to be 5 you can see directly in this multi-stage graph for the first uh, for this thing stage 5 it is always 0 and for this stage it is always equal to the out degree this uh, exactly this and but for stage number 3 it turns out to be something different now let us see what is that before that let us uh, write down the values of uh, for stage number 4 in the, for a, uh, for the sake of record because we'll need them further so we had calculated c of 5 comma 12 was 0 c of 4 comma 9 was 4 cost of 4 comma 10 was 2 cost of 4 comma 11 is 5 okay now we will go on for stage 3 so at stage 3 what I need to find out is I need to find out the C of 3 comma 6 C of 3 comma 7 and C of 3 comma 3 comma 8 by stage comma the vertices on that stage stage is 3 and the vertices on that stage are 6 7 and 8 which is equal to minimum of cost of j 6 comma vert out degree of 6 out degree of 6 is 9 and 10 that is it could be 9 or it could be cost of 6 comma 10 plus cost of plus cost of i plus 1 i uh, i is 3 so i plus 1 is 4 comma l l one time it is 9 other time it is 10 I hope this step is clear the formula says I have to write down minimum of cost of j comma l okay plus cost of i comma l so here j is 6 i is 4 so directly it comes right what about l l is the out degree of 6 so out degree of 6 is 9 and 10 that is why I have taken two values 9 and 10 here also 9 and 10 okay so I'll see 6 comma 9 is 6 plus c of 4 comma 9 we just calculated the cost of 4 comma 9 cost of 4 comma 9 is 4 so 4 or we have to find the minimum out of these two 6 comma uh, 6 comma 10 is what 6 comma 10 is 5 comma and c of 4 comma 10 c of 4 comma 10 is 2 sorry plus that is this one is minimum value similarly i will find out for 6 of 3 comma 7 
so it will come out to be 5 and uh, for c of 3 comma 8 will come out to be 7 let me note down these values also so c of 3 comma 6 comes out to be 7 c of 3 comma 7 comes out to be 5 c of 3 comma 8 comes out to be 7 okay now similarly i will calculate for stage 2 okay for stage 2 i have already calculated you can see that you can pause the video and you can calculate by yourself and tally the answers with me i'm writing down the answers over here the vertices will be 2 comma 2 2 comma 3 It's better that you pause the video and you solve by yourself for your practice. Okay. So, uh, once you have found out the costs of all these, now what have to, uh, you have to do? What you did? You reached here. You reached stage 2, found out for the four edges of stage 2. Then you reached stage 1 and you found out the minimum one for the, uh, for the stage 1. Okay, so, uh, stage 1. So, now what, are you, what you have to do? Now you have to make a path from source to sink. You have to make a path. Earlier what we had done, we had started from sink and we had gone backwards towards, this was sink, this was source. We had gone from sink to source, but now we have to make a path from source to sink. Okay. 